Hey, what's up, everybody? New video. Uh, Mr. Paul knew I was filming something, so he thought he would step in the way. Once he moves out of the way, we'll continue the rest of this video. At this time, I am currently about to try the Aldi Lobster Macaroni and Cheese. I just finished listening to uh, some very negative reviews. People didn't like the smell, didn't like the taste, apparently it was very gritty. There's not a lot of lobster in this, apparently. Um, sense of strong seafood, someone said Old Bay, which I can't say I've had Old Bay in a long time. Here I am! Um, so, we're about to do a, a taste test review. Here's kind of our texture we got going on here. Mr. Paul, of course, wants to get a little smell, but this is kind of how we're looking. Here's Mr. Paul. Anyways, here goes nothing. It smells alright. I bought some things at Aldi before and I had to return them because I was like, bro, I came with this, so. We'll see how this goes. I wonder if we should try noodles first. Also, I did this in the microwave. Here goes nothing. That was a piece of lobster. I mean, it's edible. Let's see if we can get a bite of the noodles. I think these are kavatapi. Um, It's okay. It's not terrible. I keep thinking of meeting Trader Joe's macaroni and cheese. I think this would go good with some crackers. Probably oyster crackers or saltines. I mean, it's edible. It's not the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Was it worth the $7.99 I paid for it? Probably not, but that lobster piece was good. I should do some more reading to see if it's actual lobster. I didn't really check the box. I'm going to check the box. The ingredients is cooked pasta, durum flour, lobster, sauce, well, at least it's got real lobster in it. There's the box. Lobster mac and cheese. Specially selected. Anyways, you're awesome. Thanks for watching me try this mac and cheese. Peace.